Just about every YouTuber today is coming out with a product. Ryan Trahan, Mr. Beast, me. Just kidding, I have no idea how to do that. Well today, I'm gonna be trying these products and I'm gonna give them an extremely honest review. If they suck, they suck, what can I say? But first, Walmart. Yeah, so this is gonna be my first time going to Walmart in years. I honestly cannot even remember the last time that I stepped foot inside of a Walmart. Not gonna lie, I was a little scared and I did not know what to expect. But luckily, I made my way to the candy aisle, the chip aisle, and the drink aisle without running into any trouble. And we're back, baby. All right, so I officially have all the YouTuber products, and let me just say that I definitely spent a little too much money. <laughs> so maybe give this video a thumbs up, or... Let me just say that I am so excited to try these products because I don't know what to expect. I mean, they could be incredible, or they could be ass. So welcome to my food review. Now, the very first product that I'm gonna be trying today, and the one that I am the most excited for, is Ryan Trahan's new candy, Joyride Sour Strips. And I gotta say, just from the packaging alone, they look Look pretty good. I mean, just take a look at that. The colors of the packaging, it's definitely gonna catch your eye. And look at that, there's even a little picture of Ryan. Oh, he's so handsome. And there are four different flavors that we're gonna be trying, and let me just say, I am excited for every single one. Now, according to Ryan, this should be a slightly healthier candy. I mean, even on the package, it says 80% less sugar. And it also says no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives. Like, I know what that means, come on. Boom, the mic is now on my shirt, and I have a little cleavage. You're welcome. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, look at that. Clearly coated in sugar, just how daddy likes it. All right, Ryan, this is for you. Okay. Ryan, you need to relax. Wow, let me just say, that was incredible. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little concerned that it wouldn't taste the best just because there's like 80% less sugar, it's more natural, it's a little healthier. Sour green apple, let's try it, shall we? All right, sour green apple going in. Okay, Ryan, I see what you're rocking with. Mm. I'm a sucker for sour green apple. Sour strawberry, shall we? Cheers. Okay, what else? Ooh, I gotta say the end taste of that one was a little bit more sour in the best way possible. Now I have been saving this one for last because I have a feeling that it may just be the best one. The sour blue raspberry, baby. <laughs> Ooh, cheers. Oh my God, this is hands down the best flavor. It is just the perfect flavor with the perfect amount of sour. Uh, fine, okay, for the video, I'll give it one more bite. What the hell is even that? Okay, so as you could maybe tell, I'm a huge fan of this product. Ryan, you outdid yourself this time. But is this product worth it or is it a waste? I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that it is 100% worth it. And I'm not just saying that because Ryan sent me stickers and an air freshener. Hey Ryan, if you happen to be watching this, could you maybe send me some more of these? Now the next product I'm gonna be trying is one that I am sure that every single one of you know. The entire world knows, especially if you're eight years old. And that would be Prime by Logan Paul and KSI. So unfortunately, the Walmart I went to only had these two flavors. I don't even know how many flavors there actually are, but I know it's more than two. But today for this review, we're just gonna have these. And the flavors we're gonna be trying are Tropical Punch and Lemon Lime. Well, Mike is going back on the shirt and the cleavage is back. All right, taking a look at the back, it says 10% coconut water with 25 calories. Is this also a healthier option or? Cheers. You know what? This tastes like every other Tropical Punch flavor drink I've ever had. It's not really a better flavor, it's not worse, but it's, it's good. And now it's time for the lemon lime. Cheers. This does not taste like every other lemon lime thing I've had. This is different. Between the two of these flavors, I would probably never touch this one again. Sorry, you're not that great. But this one, I would maybe consider buying this again. But is Prime worth it or is it a waste? I'm gonna have to go ahead and say, depending on the flavor, it's worth it. Logan. Look what you've done. Now, of course, I couldn't try Prime Hydration without also trying Prime Energy. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. This is strawberry watermelon. Not gonna lie, that combination sounds exquisite. Hey, ASMR? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Already, just from that initial sip hitting my taste buds, this is a really, really good tasting energy drink. This may actually be one of the best tasting energy drinks I have ever tried. And next we have blue raspberry. Cheers. Oh, oh my God, that is, that's intense. Oh baby. That is like one of the most intense blue raspberry flavors I've ever tried. I, I actually can't tell if I like it or not. 
Is it low-key sour? I mean, it tastes pretty good. I just don't know if I'm exactly a fan of the flavor. Like, I don't know if I would get this one again. Okay, I'd buy it again. Next, we have Ice Pop. I don't know exactly what Ice Pop is supposed to taste like, but we're about to find out. Cheers. Oh, okay, okay. I see the direction they were going with this. I get it, I get the flavor. This honestly tastes exactly like one of those icy things you would have as a kid in the summertime. I mean, it's not my favorite flavor for an energy drink, but it's it's pretty decent. I mean, honestly, I would not buy this one, but um, I, I know some people are gonna like it. And last but not least, we have original. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what flavor that is. It is in a really interesting looking can. I mean, there's nothing that really hints to what the flavor is. Cheers. What the hell is that? I don't know if it's because I'm drinking this after drinking the other ones or if there is genuinely something wrong with this one. It kind of tastes like an armpit. There's something wrong with this. I'm a little worried, but I'm, I'm also a little curious. So one more. No, mm -mm. this one's not for me. In fact, this should be for no one. Uh, one out of 10. So when it comes to prime energy, is it worth it or is it a waste? Once again, just like the hydration, I think it really comes down to the flavor that you're choosing. Some of the flavors are worth it. Other flavors are trash. That mystery one, the original, don't even think about it. The next product I'm gonna be trying is one that I am extremely excited for. Mr. Beast new candy bars. So these just recently came out and I think these have like a whole new recipe or something. Supposedly they taste completely different from the OG Mr. Beast bars. Unfortunately, I could only get my hands on three of the flavors. The first one I'm gonna be trying is the milk chocolate. Ooh, ooh, okay. So similar to Hershey's, it comes in the little squares, but look at that, it says Mr. Beast on there. Let's just break a piece off, shall we? All right, Mr. Beast, let me see what you're working with. Okay. For it being just a normal milk chocolate bar, it tastes pretty damn good. Oh, and it smells even better. Now let's try the peanut butter, shall we? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So I just tried to break a piece off and there is literal peanut butter inside of it. Oh man, this is gonna go crazy, I already know. Three, two, one. Oh my God, this is so good. Mr. Beast, Jimothy, if you will. This is a 10 out of 10. And last but not least, we have the almond, the one I am least excited for. Ooh, okay, so I can see from the back of it, it's a little lumpy, it's got some nuts in it. Cheers. Wow, okay, so the aftertaste is actually amazing. I didn't think I was that much of a nut guy, but apparently I am. Well, when it comes to Feastables bars, they are definitely worth it. 10 out of 10. But of course I couldn't try Feastables chocolate without trying Feastables cookies. All right, the first one we're gonna try is oatmeal raisin. Now I'm an oatmeal raisin cookie kind of guy. Call me weird all you want, you're just a hater, you, you twerp. Let's get a little smell test, shall we? Oh my, oh, Jimothy. I gotta be real, this is the sweetest, most delicious smell I have ever smelt. It's a little small, but it, it's just a little sweet treat. Cheers. Wow. Just, wow. Guys, I promise, I'm not just a fanboy, these are actually good. The oatmeal raisin are incredible. Oh my God, I am definitely eating these later. Next, we have peanut butter chocolate chip. All right, okay, this one looks pretty good. This looks like a solid mini cookie. Peanut butter chocolate chip going in. Mm -hmm. Now this one did have a really good solid taste. I gotta say it was a little bit more dry than the oatmeal raisin, but still overall pretty damn good. And last but not least, the classic chocolate chip. I probably should have started with these, but whatever. Oh, okay, so this one once again feels pretty moist. Hang on, let me give it a little squish. Oh, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be good. This is a delicious cookie. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna seem like such a fanboy, but when it comes to the Mr. Beast Feastable cookies, they're worth it. The crazy thing is, I can actually see myself buying these again. And the last product I'm gonna be trying is Charlie D'Amelio's popcorn. Um, is it just me or does this seem hella random? I mean, what does Charlie D'Amelio know about popcorn? There are four different flavors to try and I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm pretty excited. The first one I'm gonna try is the Nice Spice. Oh my God, I just discovered this on the back, a picture of the D'Amelio family. They put the whole family on the bag? Oh, after opening the bag, I just got hit with a smell. Now, I'm not saying it was a bad smell, but it it definitely wasn't good. Just take a look at that popcorn. I mean, I know it's called Ice Spice, so it's probably got a little spiciness to it. All right, um, I'm a little concerned to try this because of the smell, but cheers. Cheers. 
Charlie, what the, what is this? That was genuinely ass. This is not good popcorn. <laughs> Oh, it just, it stinks. Inside of the bag literally smells bad. Now, I don't know what kind of spices you put on this, but did they come from a butt? Maybe she can redeem herself with this one, the cotton candy popcorn. Is it just me or does that seem kind of weird? Cotton candy and popcorn don't seem like they exactly go together. So, um, Charlie, I am worried about this one. Cheers. I, um, no. Oh. That is, that is strange. So my initial thoughts of popcorn and cotton candy not going together were correct. It's, I mean, the bag looks so nice and fun and colorful and the taste is just like um, the pits of hell. Well, let me just give it one more. Maybe I got like a bad burnt piece or something. No, get away from me. This one is maple bacon flavored? Maple bacon flavored popcorn. Great. I already know this is not gonna be a good idea, but um, smell test. That does not smell like maple or bacon. It kind of just smells like your grandmother's old spice cabinet. Hopefully they can redeem themselves with the taste, but um, I don't have my hopes up. Okay, that's weird. That is downright absurd. That tasted exactly like bacon. Well, we have officially made it to the very last product that I'm gonna be trying in this video, and it's the last flavor of Charlie D'Amelio's popcorn that I was actually the most excited to try. Parmesan garlic popcorn, baby. Typically things that are Parmesan garlic are delicious. This may be a very different story. Okay, I could do this. Three, two, one. Ooh, I don't know what the F that is, but it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Luckily, this is the last one. Cheers. Once again, this just does not taste good. Coming from a family that has so much money and resources, they couldn't have made popcorn that tastes better? They could have literally just come out with a movie theater butter popcorn and it would have tasted better than all four of those. Now this may come as a shock to some of you, but Charlie D'Amelio's popcorn is a waste. Those four bags of popcorn were actually some of the worst tasting food I've ever had in my entire life. Well, that was every YouTuber product that I'm gonna be trying today. I guess the only thing left for me to say now is, um, subscribe?